The weather this week has been absolutely horrendous. It has rained and rained and rained and rained. So trying to find an idea for a video this week has been very, very difficult. However, it is almost autumn and I've decided the best thing to do is to get down to somewhere reasonably local and see if I can find some nice compositions so that when the trees change colour, I can get down here early in the morning and get a killer shot that I'm going to be happy with. So we've come down to Randolph's Leap. This is a place steeped in history. It's basically like a gorge, um, but it's got a lot of rapids and that through the river. Um, and it actually featured in Outdoor Photography magazine last autumn, I think. It's a great place to come in the autumn to take photos. I've only ever shot here once and it was many, many years ago. So I'm really interested to see what compositions I can find today and what shoots I can plan for the autumn months. So maybe I'll get an interesting image when the time comes. I kind of wish that I knew the story about Randolph's Leap, but there is basically two rocks down there which apparently some man called Randolph leaped over with a horse, I want to say, but that could be wrong, that could be wrong. Anyway, there's actually quite a lot of uh, colours changing on the trees up here already, so maybe it might even be just a couple of weeks until this place is looking really good for photos. We've had so much rain this week, as I said in the intro, that the, the um, the river today is really, really, really high and fast flowing. Uh, very, very dangerous. But it looks absolutely beautiful here. I've not been here for years and this is absolutely stunning. I think it's further down the river that all the good compositions are. So we're going to go down there and basically see if we can find anything interesting. And just go for a nice walk and see what we find. All the heavy rainfall has meant basically that the river is going so unbelievably fast. Like, just look at that current. That is unbelievable. It's such a nice sound though, but it kind of makes you realise just how powerful nature is. Like, that is insane. Insanely fast. I'm trying to look for like some kind of intimate kind of fine art like images. It's not something that I've really considered much before but I remember watching a video uh, by Thomas Heaton last year when he was at Glen Affric in somewhere sort of similar to this and he managed to find really nice rocks and you know autumn like leaves on beside the rocks which gave good contrast. So that's basically what I'm looking out for today purely because obviously the autumn leaves aren't 100% in full bloom. I want to find some nice places to be to get good compositions when they are at their best but today I might be able to get some nice subtle images if I look closely enough. There's a rock over there that I quite like the look of so I'm going to go and see if I can shoot it just because it's away from all these crazy crazy rapids and it's just something a little bit a little bit different and see what we can what we can make of it. So I've come to this rock here and I'm just trying to get a long exposure image of the water going around it with slight autumn colours above it. I've got my polarising filter on my camera here and I've got my little stopper on as well which is giving me an exposure of 30 seconds. I've got it on F8 just because I've not got great depth of field going on here. I'm just focusing on the rock and I'm going to see how it turns out. I'm not sure quite how it's going to look but 
We'll wait and see how it goes. So unfortunately the rain is just lashing down now. I find it so difficult to get an image of the water when it's raining. Obviously using filters and taking long exposures, it's not really that possible. Which is a shame because I think I could have got a quite decent image there, but never mind. I know where the location is now and hopefully when the weather is slightly better and we've not got the rain lashing down on us, I'm able to get a better image and something that you know, I can be proud of. So I don't think any of the photos that I took are worth showing because my filters kept getting condensation on them, they kept getting raindrops on them. They just look a bit messy, basically. So we're gonna carry on our walk now and see if there's anything else more interesting further down the river. But this video and today is all about trying to find locations for autumn. If I don't get any images that I'm happy with, so be it. I'm not gonna show images that I'm not 100% happy with either. It's just not really that worth it. But, whew, let's continue the walk. Wow, look at that water. The shapes that it is making is absolutely incredible. I might have to try and take a photo of that just because it's so unique. That is so cool, look! Crazy! I absolutely love this time of year. This is a time of year to get down to the forest, get down to your rivers, to your lochs, anywhere the trees are going to turn colour. And it's somewhere that you can go when it's wet and it's windy. Obviously, to be, be safe, somewhere like this is very, very dangerous. But there's something really special about being in the woods on a wet, dreek day. A bit of Scottish there for you. A wet, dreek day in the middle of autumn. It's just beautiful. And being at the seaside or somewhere else in this weather is very, very depressing. But in the forest, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's somewhere that, I don't know, the feeling is just great. I just love it. I can't wait to see what place like this are going to look like in a few weeks when autumn's in its full bloom. Although like a lot of other photographers have already said on YouTube this, um, this year, autumn has come round so early this year. Like the first week of September and we're seeing, you know, the trees starting to turn orange. It's far too early. It makes me think we're going to have a long, long winter this year, which is a shame, but Let's make the most of the autumn and see what comes from it. This bit here is going to look amazing in the height of autumn. I'm really happy now because I've actually found a composition that I'm going to be happy with when the conditions are right. We've got this massive rock in the middle that all the water is coming over which would look fantastic with a long exposure photo. When all these trees have turned, changed colour, it is going to look exceptional. It's going to look so, so nice. And then we've got all these kind of rocks around this side, rocks around that side, and this unusual kind of tree standing on the edge of that rock, which is going to add more interest to the image. I can't wait for this to be in full autumn bloom. I am so excited. And hopefully, hopefully, the weather will play ball in a few weeks' time. I'll be able to come back down here and get this killer shot. This is beautiful. What a lovely place to be. And look at the view from that side as well. You've got all this nice rocks leading your eye, the river through the scene. That will also look like a good photo when the time comes. Wow. I can just picture in my head now what I want this to look like. I just hope that we don't get any major storms in the next few weeks to blow all the leaves away. And hopefully, We'll get some cracking shots here. It's just, just stunning. Autumn is well and truly on the way. Well, the rain has well and truly started now. Taking cover under this tree. This is another stunning location. We've got some really nice kind of bushes over there with nice red berries and that on them. That would look amazing when the, again, in a couple of weeks when this is in full autumn bloom. But I'm so happy I came here today because I, I didn't have a clue like how good this location was going to be and it's absolutely stunning. 
I'm so excited to come back here in a few weeks and take photographs, like proper photographs. And this, to be honest, is one of the first times I properly planned a shoot like this. Um, going somewhere I've never really been before, I've been that much, and planning what I want to take photos of. And you know, especially because I want to take photos early in the morning, just after sunrise, when it might be misty. Coming down today and doing this, sorry, we're getting very, very covered in rain. Coming down in the afternoon and doing this on a horrible day, it's just been great. It's a good way to, to you know, spend days like this, which aren't very really good for photography. Your gear gets soaking, your lens gets covered in water. Try to get long exposure shots on a day like today is really, really difficult. But using really wet weeks and really wet days to come down to a location and plan future shoots, I'd highly recommend it. And it gets you out, gets you out of the house, gets you into nature, gets you doing things. And you get to see things, it's just beautiful. Come out with one of your friends as well and turn it into a lovely walk and a lovely catch up, just like we have done today. <laughs>